Today I'm doing Earn by Time for 12 hours straight, with a 92% acceptance rate. Right off the bat, things were slow. I was getting no orders and just driving around restaurants aimlessly. Well, look at that. Only took 30 minutes and we just got our first order. Obviously, I'm going to accept it because with Earn by Time, you basically just accept everything. This order to Beans and Brews took forever because they were really short staffed. So I understood, but it was still annoying, especially because the drop off took me on some no name dirt road that probably took years off the life of my car to drive through. And all of that for a whopping $0 tip. I love how this shift is starting out. After that, I got an order to Starbucks, which went fine, and at least it had a tip. But then I went another really long stretch with no orders, so I just chilled by an Einstein Bagels, hoping to get my next order. And finally, Beans and Brews sent me my first decent order of the day with a stack that wasn't very far, and thankfully one of the two people was generous with their tip. After that next order, it was more waiting. I even had time to get gas. This shift was going so bad, and there was so much waiting around to get orders. It was terrible. Well guys, we are now four hours of the way through this shift. It is 11.30, and we're doing terrible. We have made $35 in four hours which is less than nine dollars an hour and that is not even including any expenses i mean this is the doordash that i remember from january's past i was hoping it wouldn't hit me this year because so far it's actually been decent january has but i think that's just because of football going on and whatnot and i've really only gone out during the best times so now when we're doing a 12-hour shift we are just hit with pretty bad hourly pay. I mean, we went so long without an order just barely that I had time to run home. I grabbed myself a cookie, grabbed myself some orange slices, and yeah, we went like 45 minutes without an order. Even cleaned out my car a little bit. So actually, as I was leaving my apartment, I did get my first order in a while. It's to Chipotle. I think it was four miles. So we'll see. We really haven't had any good tips this entire day. The orders have been very middle of the road and the biggest roadblock that we've had is just no orders that has been the biggest problem so we'll see now that we're in the lunch shift if things pick up if we can start getting some better tips and if we can actually make some good money on this earn by time shift You have got to be kidding me. Oh, oh wow. 18 miler, right off the bat, right after that Chipotle order. I have a feeling this is not gonna have a tip in it either. <laughs> At this point, it had almost been seven hours and I wasn't even averaging $11 an hour. And so that's why I'm just taking a break in between this video to tell you guys about the solo app. 
It's just gonna be real quick. A lot of you probably already know about this app, but for those of you who don't know, Solo is the best app to have as a DoorDash, Uber, Instacart, whatever app you're using. It is the best to pair with those because they have so many great features. The two I'm gonna focus on right now is first the pay guarantee feature. It is a great feature for when you're having shifts like this because you can look beforehand, schedule out your shift, and you can end up making more money because if you don't hit what Solo guarantees, they will pay you out the difference. So on days like this where you're getting no orders, this can really come in handy. And then the next thing is, this is the first year Solo actually allows you to file your taxes with them. So if you are having trouble figuring out how to file your taxes as a DoorDash driver, just download the Solo app with the link I have for you down below in the description. You'll get a bonus $10. And if you sign up for their $15 a month membership, then you can file your taxes with them. They make it super easy. And then you don't have to pay TurboTax like $150. So it's way cheaper, way worth it. It's down in the description. If you want to check it out, let's get back to this shift. Well guys, we are now almost seven hours of the way through this shift and we've only made $77.98. Now I'm going straight through for 12 hours, so I'm not taking any breaks, but I did need something to eat and it's slow right now because it's just after two o'clock. So I picked up some Taco Bell for myself. We are just chilling right here in this hot spot, hoping to get an order here soon while I eat this Taco Bell. We'll see what happens. Well guys, we got our next order. It's actually a first for me. I don't think I've ever done a auto part delivery on DoorDash. I have with Uber Eats, but I don't think I ever have with DoorDash. And it is quite a bit of miles on this order. And it says I have to get their signature. I'm betting that there is not a tip in this. I guess we'll have to drive over there and see though. But I'm calling it right now. I bet you there's no tip. Yeah, I have no idea where this person is. Oh gosh, the number I have is to the store. Oh boy. Yeah, I literally have no idea. I'm gonna have to do can't hand order to recipient. Yeah, this is the drop off instructions. It says Napa, leave on the counter, Local 3059 next to chiropractor in front of Venezuela Mia West. The address it gave me is to a Macy's. Oh, I watched there be no tip. I know that's going to happen on this one. But at least I get paid for waiting. So that is a good thing. Anyway, we'll see if I can figure this out. Off from Napa Auto Parts. Uh huh. Um, I'm not sure where you're located. The deliver or the address I have is to a Macy's. Yes, it's in behind the Macy's. Macy's is in the back there or is or a store. We are located uh, with the face on front the street. So you are you inside the Macy's? No. We are outside, but around the Macy's. Okay, so in the very back. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I found you. I'll bring it in. Thanks. Okay. Bye. Well, I was right. There was no tip. But I didn't know that the business is ineligible to tip. So why would anyone ever take those orders? That doesn't even make sense. The base pay was $4.75, and that was just from the earn by time. So if that order wasn't, like if I had accepted that order when it wasn't earned by time, does that mean it would have been even worse? Like, the base pay on that should be a dollar per mile, if not higher, because that doesn't even make sense. Why would anyone deliver that? Except my poor soul who was on earn by time and didn't know that if it was an auto parts delivery, they couldn't tip. That is so weird to me. Things are just not going so good. Eight hours in and we haven't even hit $100. We are at $90.92. Right there. That is so bad. What is the hourly pay on that? $90.92 divided by eight. 
Oh my gosh, $11.37 average. That is pretty, pretty terrible. And another thing about this shift that is irritating is my AC has just gone out on my car for some reason. I'm not sure what needs to be fixed on it, but it is for some reason warm out. At the end of January in Utah, it's like in the mid 60s right now. And yeah, for some reason my AC just decided to go out. So we are dealing with that right now. I gotta take that in tomorrow, get it fixed because I cannot do another day like this. And if I'm trying to do any more Uber or Lyft for the rest of this week, obviously I'm not gonna be driving people around with no AC. So, so that's just another thing. But we have about four more hours left to complete this 12 hours. If we can hit, let's see, I would be happy if we hit like $160. I would, I'd would, i be pretty happy with that based on how we're going right now. But it's not looking too good, especially now it is 315. This might be a very bad stretch until we hit like 530. I don't know. This earn by time thing is not going so good. At this point, things were getting really frustrating. It seemed like every order was a no tip order and I was having to drive really long distances to get these orders done. Well guys, we have our next order. It's from Samurai Noodle right there. And so far, I mean, things are just terrible. This order is like 11 and a half miles or something like that. And that seems to be every single order is just long distance and not big tips, sometimes even no tips. I don't think I've ever had a good earn by time order. Not today, not any day. So this is just terrible. Maybe once we hit the dinner shift in like a half hour, things will get better. But I mean, this is absolutely awful. We're averaging, what time is it? We're averaging slightly over $10 an hour. We just barely crossed $100 and we're almost through 10 hours. That is how bad it is right now. So we'll see this restaurant actually usually has some big tips from it, but I don't know. It looks like a small order. It's just, it's rough. Earn by time is looking like it's just the worst thing DoorDash ever invented. <laughs> Things didn't get any better after that. It was no tip after no tip once again. And to close out the night and put the cherry on top of this whole shift, I got a McDonald's order. Of course, super long wait. I even had time to go to the bathroom. Then there was more waiting, and more waiting, and when I finally dropped it off, what do you know, another zero dollar tip. So in total for that shift, I made $126.55 in 12 hours, and you guys can see the discrepancy between the active time and the dash time. I mean, it was over four hours of just waiting around, not getting orders. That is terrible. And I went through and looked, and eight out of the 20 orders I did for the day didn't have a tip. That is so bad. And so my per hour wage was only $10.54. I mean, this was one of the worst shifts I have ever done. And it seems like every single time I do an earn by time shift, it is never worth it. You do the majority of no tip orders and the higher acceptance rate did not help at all. So anyways, there you guys have it. If you enjoyed watching this torture, then make sure you subscribe. I got great videos planned. I'm trying to upload every single day and just help you guys make as much money as you can, regardless of the apps you're using and regardless of how you're making your money. I just want to be there to help. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.